Hello, Diana Teeters here. Today I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how to make a vignette mat right inside of Premiere Pro without having to go into Photoshop. Now let me show you what we have here. So we have a mat and it's cutting through a video background. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to remove everything from the timeline and we'll build this thing from scratch. Okay, so first thing you want to do is bring in your photo or your video. And I'm going to drag that into video track one. Now this particular photograph is a little too large. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to scale it down. There we go. Now, we're going to put a video background on top of that and I have imported Sparticles. That's our new video background product from Digital Hotcakes. So let's take a look at them and you can see there's all kinds of different bokeh defocus type uh, video backgrounds to choose from. One of my favorites is the pe called Peachy. So let's use that one. So just grab it, drag it down to video track two and we'll close this window for now. And let's go ahead and make that, drag, trim that video back to the, to the same length as the photograph. Now, let's make the vignette mat. First, we must go to File, New, whoops, File, New, Color Mat. And we need to make sure that the width is set width and height is set to the same dimensions as the video project. In this case, I need to change this to 1920. The frame rate is correct and the aspect ratio is correct. So we'll say OK. Now we're going to make this color mat white. So I'm going to go ahead and click inside the color, color picker box here. And I want to drag to the far left making sure that the red, green, and blue channels are all 255. I'll click OK. And I'm going to name this vignette. You can name it whatever you want. Say OK. Now, let's drag this vignette to Video Track 3. And you can see it's just a white video clip. In order to make it a mat, we need to, we need to create a, we need to generate a black circle and we're going to feather that circle. I'll show you how to do that. So you go in under video effects, generate, and you'll find the circle effect. Let's drag that to the vignette. Now this is a little bit confusing because we have circles in the video background, but right in the center you'll see a small white circle. Well, we need to change up a few things here. First, let's come under the video, uh, the effects control panel for the circle, and let's click and drag inside the radius. Drag to the right, and it'll, as you can see, the, vi the circle gets bigger. Let's just make it just a little bit bigger than, a little bit taller than your video. Now, let's feather that. You can pull this down, and let's feather it to about 50. Okay. And the other thing we need to do is we need to change the color to black. So let's click in here and we'll click up in the upper left hand corner, all the way in the corner there. And as long as your, art, your red, green, and blue channels are all zero, you have a good black. So let's say OK. And if you come over here in the program monitor, you'll see now that you have a black circle. Now we need to do one last thing and that's change the blending mode to luminosity. Now what we have is a white around the outside and black on the inset, which is exactly what you need for a vignette mat. So let's apply this mat to the video background layer. We do that by coming into the video effects panel, choose under keying, find the track mat key and drag it over to the video background layer 2 or yeah video track 2 
Now come up here in the track mat key settings and change, tell it to the mat is on video track three and we're going to change the composite mode to Luma. Now look what's happened here. We have cut a hole, this mat has cut a hole through the video background to the photograph, which is exactly what we want. Now, I, I want to move that circle over so that, it, that it's over the bride and groom. So let me show you how to do that. We just need to go back to the vignette layer, click on it, and come up here in the effects control, click on the word circle, and if you go to the program monitor, you'll see you have this bullseye. Just, you can move this anywhere you want, and it's kind of cool. So I'm going to move it exactly over the bride and groom over here. And there we go. So really, that's all there is to it. I'm going to hit play, and that just looks so lovely. While we're here, let me give you a couple of more tips that are really cool in case you don't know this. Say you're like, well, I really like to check out the different video backgrounds and see how they look with this image. So let's go ahead and double click on the folder of Sparticles again. And let's just go through and I'll show you a really cool trick. I'm going to click this first one. And at the same time, as I drag this clip over to the video track 2, I'm going to hold the Alt key down. See what, watch what happens. Drag it onto Peachy or video track 2 and it automatically changes. Isn't that slick? So you can come in here and you can grab whatever you want and, and take a look to see, oh, uh, let's see if this hot pink lamb looks good, you know, and yeah, okay, that. It, so it really gives you a quick way to, to kind of preview um, what's going on. I'll change it back. So it's just that alt key is, is how you do that. Okay, let's close that. One other quick tip. Say, say I really you know, I, I, I like this peachy color. I think it looks really nice. But what if I want to change that, that color? And you can do that pretty, pretty easily. If you come over here in the color correction folder of the video effects, come down here to tent. This is one quick, quick and easy way to do it. Drag this over on top of your video background and it automatically defaults to black and white which might be what you want that that actually looks pretty nice um, but let me show you how this works it has just two colors essentially your your shadows and your highlights so you can come in here and dr and uh, click on on the color picker and you can come down here and click uh, let's say we want a light purple and you want to make this color light let's just pick light purple and and so it's already changed the tint to purple if you want to take it a step further come in here in the the shadow area and bring bring your color down in into the purple see and so then it's kind of hard, hard to notice but it makes the shadows a dark purple so so that's a quick tip on changing changing any video background to a to the color that you desire. Thanks for watching.